Hi, everyone. Hello. <laughs> We're going to do a deck type. We're doing it a little differently because we got a camera looking at us yeah. and a camera up here looking yeah. at the cards down here. It's been uh, it's been quite a while, right? It's been a long time uh, since we did this, uh, yeah. probably before COVID, right? I think so, yeah. So, anyways, this is my new build for Is It Dragons. Um, I didn't make a whole lot of changes because I don't have a lot of the new cards yet. I had to order stuff online. Um, and obviously it doesn't ship until release day, which is today. Yep. Um, so I basically took the shell that I used last season and updated it with a few cards. Uh, so this is the sideboard over here. <clears throat> I'm talk about the lands first. Um, I did not use any creature lands, and I just wanted to see how it played without them. Uh, if you wanted to, I would just swap out like a mountain and an island for the for the uh, for one or ten and whatever you call or yeah. whatever they're called. So, anyways, I have two field of ruin because I assumed I would see book of exalted deeds. Craig kind of threatened that he was going to play it, <laughs> yeah. but he didn't. Um, I put one Prismari campus in for the scry effect, and then forgot that I could use it the whole yeah. game. Do you you find that <laughs> was that you versus it was like round two, right? Yeah, I think, yeah. I think so. Yeah, uh, four frost boil snarls, four temple of the dragon queen, four of the pathways, and then five of each basic. So that gives you 25 lands. Um, the reason I have the campus is that I believe, if my math is right, that gives you the 18th source of red or blue. Um, and that's kind of where you want to be to have double of a color on three. Um, so then getting into the spells, I swapped out Frostbites for Play With Fires. Um, and that allowed me to run basics rather than snow basics. So you're not taxed on... Uh, <laughs> there's the one creature that... Redain, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have one. Oh, and it's also really nice on one to play a untapped source, and then like if I need to find a land or something, just burn their face and yep. you get the scry, which is really nice. So the fire is really good for that upgraded. Yep. Uh, and obviously, shot. it deals with a lot of like the mono green two twos. Mm -hmm. um, so, anyways, moving on. The one arcane infusion, I wanted to try it. I don't know if I like it, and the reason is because I win with creatures in this deck, and every time I cast it, I bottomed a creature. Because oh. it only grabs instants and sorceries. Right. So I don't know if that really stays in the deck. I kind of want to try the secrets or whatever it is. The one blue create a treasure. Oh. And then it has flashback. I kind of want to try that. Um, so I might try that next week. Obviously four dragons fires. Yep. Burn spell. Um, there's four expressive iterations, which you have to play in these colors because it's such a good card. Uh, there's four Sot Cummings, and I might try swapping these for Dissipates or the Villain's Lair thing. Uh, you um, know, that's the... You found a Villain's Lair. Yeah. With the, 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 it's it's counter the two order mortal. draw discard, too. Yeah. Um, I like that card. Yeah. And... I think the Exile on Dissipate is good, but I think filtering... You know how I play Magic. Yep. I draw a lot of lands, or I don't draw enough lands. Well, the, the question is, really... <laughs> Like, did you run into enough Exile Matters? Not tonight. Not really. So, at that point, does Dissipate, is it that much better? And Or would you just rather have the, the Villain's Lair and have the chance to lose yeah, it out? Yeah, probably the Villain's Lair. And I might do, like, a 2-2 split next week and gotcha. see which is better. Um, I added Smoldering Egg, obviously. That card is awesome. <laughs> it gives you a blocker early game against the aggro decks. Yep. And when you flip it, everything turns into a removal spell. Yep. Which is awesome. Um, and then, obviously, you can play tricks in combat. Like, if it has, say, five counters on it, you cast a two-mana spell, flip it, and block with a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, so it makes combat really tricky for your opponent. Yep. Um, I have two Prismari commands because it's such a good two-for-one. Um, and, like, if, like I said, I always either draw too many or not enough lands. So creating a treasure is really helpful on turn three. It gets you to turn four Goldspan Dragon if you have the land drop. And then obviously Goldspan Dragon wins. Yeah. Uh, and then there's two Galazeths. I just like the card. Um, I don't know if it really belongs in the deck. I don't think I even used it tonight, really. See, um, I like it, especially when you're talking like maybe you get stuck on lands, mm -hmm. right? And like just like you're saying with Prismari Command, the fact that like Galazeth allows you to reuse the treasures over right. and over yeah. and over again. Yeah, it's good. I just don't know if it's good enough. Like if yeah. there's not something better, I guess. Um, and I did put two Draconic infer Interventions in the main deck just to have mass removal. Um, and obviously, like, all my stuff is protected. Mm -hmm. Even the egg is a dragon still. Yep. Um, so it doesn't get killed by it. And then there's, of course, four gold spans. It's, un I don't know, arguably the best card in the format right now. Um, it's insane. Yeah, there's, there's, a couple of, there's a couple of cards that do good things. 
But it's like Goldspan replaces itself with treasures. Well, like, and like if you have a sock coming in Fortel and you play the Goldspan and they try to kill it. Yeah. You, you have, have the treasure to cast right. the sock coming. Well, that's what I say. Like, like it replaces itself with treasures yeah. because you're always, you're just yeah. going to cast something else. Yeah. Like, and Inferno, you'll see if you watch the videos from this week, it comes in and it swims. Yeah. Hard. <laughs> yeah. I think I swung for six on the one. No. Nine on the one Nine turn. Nine on one turn and 11 on another. Yeah. Yep. Like, it just ends games if they don't have an answer, and they have to have a removal spell because yep. it can't be countered. Um, and then I do like Memory Deluge. Um, it's basically Dig Through Time. It's yeah. like mini Dig Through Time. So that card, especially like four mana, look four, take two. And yeah. it doesn't matter. Four what mana, two. draw two, scry two is a yeah. playable card already. And this lets you... Look at the four instead of scry two and then right. draw two. And then uh, how many times do you just get to like get to that late, late point game. in the game? Yep. And you're just like, man, I gotta find, gotta find one answer. Yeah, and you're like a lot of times it ends up being you know one card. You're you're looking one card, two cards. You're scrying one card with with play with fire, and like and I just you're have not random. scrying with that campus you forgot about. Yeah, but like the fact that you literally you just get to look at seven, seven. cards yeah. and then and yes, if you haven't looked at the new spells they all refer to the amount of mana spent yeah. on the spell not the converted mana cost so like if you cast this with flashback it's a seven yep. if you cast it with a reduced cost it's less than four or less than seven right um so the number of cards you look at does change uh and then it's also really nice like if you have a smoldering egg on two and a prismari command on three and then a deluge on four you're already flipping it on turn four, so you have a four four to attack with. Well, I guess the other thing to think about is, is or like, like a saw coming on three. Yeah, well, like you draw a smoldering egg late in the game, you don't have flurry of spells, right? But you have a seven <laughs> you, in the graveyard you that immediately flip flips it right it. away, yeah. and presumably grab two, two cards, two cards that, that, are, that yeah. trigger shocks. Yeah, so I like all of the cards in the deck except the infusion. So I'll probably try something. The other option would be the I don't remember what it's called. The unsummon, but you get to scry. Oh, if it's a C, if it's CMC three or less. Yeah, uh, mana value. Mana value of three or, three less. or less. So that could also be something. It's it's hard to deal with um, spells that are bigger than your burn spell or creatures yeah. that are bigger than your burn spells. Yeah. So being able to bounce it is like a nice tempo play, and then maybe you can counter it on the way down. Uh, and then I guess we'll move on to the sideboard. I kind of ran out of space, so I have three annuls, and I think this card is really underrated. <laughs> um, it's literally just for. No, it That's works it. really well against Ranger Class and Isika's Chariot. So it's a one mana answer. Who's playing Ranger Class and Isika's Chariot? Anthony was tonight. Oh, okay. Uh, so like on the draw, you can counter the Ranger Class on two. So that's important. Then I have, so like I said, Craig threatened that yeah, he would be yeah. playing Book of Exalted Deeds. So I have one Cleansing Wildfire and two Smashing Successes. Um, and I, I didn't realize that Smashing Success will deal with both sides of the combo. You can kill the book or you can kill the land, yeah, which is really good. There. And then it makes a treasure, which kind of, kind of synergizes with the rest of the deck. Um, I put one you find some prisoners in because it's a destroy artifact spell. Um, and like the second mode I thought might be kind of fun if I ever got the chance to play it. Uh, one burn down the house. I don't know why I put this in. Uh, so burn down the house, see, like playing against it. It's just really good, the simple fact that it's, like, what, five damage? It's five damage to each creature in Planeswalker, which yeah. kills everything that I play except for the Inferno. Yeah, so, like, but the thing about it is is that it's really, a, like, a last-ditch effort, yeah. right? Um, it yep. deals with all the four toughness, and four toughness seems to be the breaking point. Right it, it really does. Um, especially it, it if you're deals, playing against green. It deals with everything, and especially, like, green having access to stuff like Snakeskin Veil... With an extra counter on something. Doesn't target. Doesn't target it. Yeah. Um, for another house, I think it's really good. And I think, uh, what was the, was it from Amon Cat or Hour of Devastation? The board wipe that dealt five damage. I don't remember. I can't remember what it was, but it saw quite a bit of play in yeah. Red Dex just because five is a, is that magic number. So I have the third Draconic Intervention, uh, which I did have Magma Opus in the deck before and I pulled it out. That was your way to deal with large creatures yep. through the Draconic Intervention. Um, so I don't know if some number of those should come back in or Intervention isn't good enough. I think it's good enough. But uh, two Disdainful Strokes, just more counter magic because you're playing blue. 
I did put one Pithing Needle in, um, just in case there's something I couldn't deal with. Aside from direct damage, I don't have a way to deal with Planeswalkers. And works against activating the book or the Faceless Haven. Yeah. So I thought it was worth playing. And then MVP, of course, is Burning Hands because it deals with every big green creature right yep. now. Uh, Vorinclex, Coma, the Troll. I mean, it doesn't exile the Troll, but the no. Troll gets out of hand fast. Yep. Um, so yeah, that's the deck. I'll probably make a few changes next week and update the list on Aetherhub. So I do have one question for you. We were talking about this uh, beforehand. There's the new red adversary. That's... Two, 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 two with haste, two with haste for two. Y- yep, and then you can pay three to multi kick kicker. Multi kicker yeah. as many times as you want. As you want, gets plus one plus one counter for each time you kick it, and then you can flash back instants or sorceries. Right now, obviously, so you don't cast them, so you don't pay anything, so it doesn't necessarily work for smoldering egg. But is that a possibility for no? Like, uh, oh, is it mana value? Because it's again. mana value. Yeah, you. For the amount you yep. would say, which so you pay. yeah, so it doesn't work zero. for smoldering egg. Um, but I was thinking, like, if there's one in like replacement of this, the you fact that you it. actually get to, I mean, so for eight, right, you you get a four four with haste and Prismari command and iteration. And there's or, no restriction on the CMC, the spell. Nope. So I could cast back or flashback a memory deluge. Yeah. 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 But you could try it as one. I guess. So I I like it. Um, obviously, like you're you're paying a lot, but I'm just thinking about the fact like you're trying to get a little bit deeper, mm-hmm. and you don't have too many threats, which you, you saw in a couple of games. It was really hard, like trying to find and and dig for an actual. Oh to yeah, the I think my out. first game, I didn't even see a creature for like mm-hmm. ten turns or something. So, um, and yeah, there's only twelve creatures in the deck, so it's not super aggressive, but it's. It's like a traditional mid-range deck, mm-hmm. I guess. I-, I might actually just put in another counter spell. Yeah. Because it's blue. And that's what I do. So Yeah. Anyways, I think that's about it, right? Yeah. Cool. Thanks for watching.